I think it's really essential to have policies that define what prohibited behavior is, and then accessible procedures that are equipped to respond. And that needs to include mechanisms to support students who have been impacted um, by something like harassment or other harmful behavior. And then we also need the ability to hold students accountable when they're responsible for violations. And we want to do that, of course, in a way that is educational and developmental so that students have an opportunity to learn from the behavior that they've engaged in and reflect on that and and do better and be better in the future. Um, but I think what's more important, even than our policies and procedures, is investing in a campus climate that orients from an ethic of care for one another and empathy and understanding so that members of the community are aware of one another and are responsive to each other's needs. And I think that kind of um, the climate of belonging and care should help reduce incidents of harm from occurring in the first place, but they inevitably will. And so then what we want to have is a campus climate that provides a foundation of support for students when harm occurs. So we want to do everything that we can to mitigate that kind of harm from happening, um, but to also have a supportive community and responsive procedures in place when it does. 